So let's talk about commitment on this journey. So commitment on this journey is not about forcing yourself or telling yourself that I desire my union and I'm going to force myself to force myself to do the inner work and force myself no commitment comes from a deeper place of understanding deeper place of understanding that this is the perfect journey for me this is the way for me that i absolutely desire and it is in alignment with all of me and all of my good and this is what i will receive when i choose this path why does it seem like you have a choice um it is the truth that it only seems like you have a choice and that seeming can turn into life cycles and lifetimes of just going around in circles and not getting anywhere so why we struggle to have our dreams come true is because we think we think that we have to make them happen we think that we have a better way that we think that we have we know how to make it happen No my friends this journey is about relaxing and surrendering to the truth the commitment is more towards your commitment of yourself towards your own love and your commitment to refining your inner being to coming closer to love coming closer to god and relaxing into who you truly are Re- are repeatedly understanding that forcing yourself or trying to do something is only going to be counterproductive and realizing that how can i relax more and yet feel totally supported how can i surrender more and yet feel not frantic and panic that where is everything going to come from where am i going to get my answers when i completely surrender so the practice is about learning how to walk this path with god and it is totally counterintuitive to how the world has taught us the world has taught us to learn 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 churn 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 and uh produce results force ourselves um make a tight routine and you know you've got to do everything and um everything has to be prim and proper stuff down your feelings you have to have a poker face or you have to um you know put on a brave act and um then you have to force yourself and get things done of course those things will happen but will they prosper where are they standing on what is the foundation they're standing on the foundation of your own blood blood sweat and tears and uh it's a very fickle foundation it is fa- founded on an emotion of force it's founded on the emotion of anxiety of uh, you know pushing things through but what if i present a scenario where you can really make god as your foundation of everything in your life and god meaning peace love harmony joy um not just harmony and joy within your heart it's harmony and joy with your entire being with your presence on earth with your um with your relationships here on earth and your relationships with your brothers and sisters when you surrender to how god has designed the path for you instead of resisting it instead of forcing yourself to think and you know i don't think it's like that i think i like this better i think this is better for me instead of that surrendering into what god is showing you let the universe guide you let the universe slowly show you manifest things for you let the universe do and you be when you start doing that that's when the universe starts unfolding deeper layers of secret layers of uh, miracles in front of you so 
Coming back to the commitment on this journey, we desire to be in union, in harmonious union, in perfect union with our twin flames. And that is a result of us coming into deeper commitment of our own love within ourselves. Understanding that we are meant to be loved first by God, then we are meant to be loved by ourselves. And we are then meant to be loved by our twin flames. And we are again meant to love our twin flame, ourselves, others and God. So this cycle of love happens all the time. But it starts with you having no barriers to receiving God's love. Now that has to happen and it is a practice why because we have practiced and practiced the opposite for a very long time and that opposite practice has turned us, us upside down and we are not used to getting results by surrendering. We're not used to getting results by loving ourselves. We're not used to seeing success from the place of total peace. But my friends, let me tell you, this is that path. You must be thinking in your head, how is this possible? Isn't it too good to be true? Yes, it is too good because it is too true. That is the truth of it all, right? So what we had been follow following earlier was a fallacy. Yes, we could make things happen, but it was by force and that force is temporary. Force is temporary. Love is permanent. Love is forever. So anything built on the foundation of love, peace and surrender, it is forever and ever and ever. So my friends, try to practice these little things in your life. Bring calm and peace into your life. Bring surrender into your life. Ask yourself this question. Are you forcing yourself to follow anything? Are you forcing yourself to get something on the outside? Are you forcing yourself to get to success? So it's time to let go of force and follow the flow of love. So ask yourself this question, am I ready to receive love in this area of my life? And you can fill that this area with anything. Am I ready to receive the abundance and God's love in the area of finances in my life? Am I ready to receive the abundance of God's love in my physical health? Am I ready to receive abundance of God's love in the area of my food and intake and, and, and my relationship with food? Am I ready to receive God's love in the area of love and romance, in the area of partnership, in the area of deep romantic love? Am I ready to receive God's love in the relationship of parents, of mother, father, God? Am I ready to receive God's love in friendship? Am I ready to receive God's love in my rest and peace? Am I ready to receive God's love in the foundation of my life? Am I ready to receive God's love in my wisdom? Am I ready to surrender my own mind and receive God's wisdom over and above? Am I ready to humble myself to come to God's door and receive God's love? through his heart into my heart now. So asking these questions invites deeper love and commitment with God. When you are committing deeper with God, it is bound to make a difference in your twin flame journey. Your twin flame journey is all about coming into deeper um, union and obviously a perfect union with God. This path is going to take you all the way to perfect union with God, where there is no difference between God and us. So your twin flame reflects those places where you are not in alignment with love, 
not in alignment with God. So if you don't find your twin flame in union with you right now, you are not in union with love in that space where you feel that you'll have to degrade yourself, compromise yourself, force yourself or try and become someone else other than you in order to receive love. So it is time to let go of those limiting thoughts and remind yourself, I am a perfect child of God. I deserve perfect love. Because I'm a perfect child of God, I let go of my arrogance. I let go of my limiting beliefs. I let go of my whole entire mind because I cannot think better than God. And I humble myself and receive God's love in the area of love right now. That is going to result in deeper commitment into your twin flame journey. And it will allow your journey to flow absolutely easily and calmly and peacefully all right my friends with that happy christmas to everyone happy christmas to your family your twin flame union and your perfect and blessings to your perfect union in the coming year and uh, i wish you bless you with peace love and harmony keep watching this channel subscribe and i will see you in the next videos take care